Okay, today we're answering the question, how do you break into Hollywood as a cinematographer? All right, so the first question that I would ask is, where have you trained? Like, what kind of training do you have? Uh, do you own your own camera? Have you watched YouTube videos on shooting films? Like, there, there are, uh, there's a wealth of information out there that wasn't out there when, um, uh, you know, pre-YouTube. Uh, in that time, you had to kind of apprentice under somebody, and then they would teach you stuff. Now, that is also such a good thing to do. It, the key that I would say is, if, if I went, okay, I want to be a cinematographer or a DP or a DOP, whatever you want to call it. Um, I would, first things first, would start, get a camera and start messing around. And you can get a camera, a good camera, $500 or so, and start shooting some stuff. And again, watching YouTube videos and seeing how people are lighting things and how this and that. Read books, read books on, on cinematography. And there's a great book out there called Master Shots, and it's and there's a, like a volumes, a series of it, um, of the main shots that are used in movies and how to kind of, how, how, how they're composed, let's put it that way. Uh, but then the most important part is for you to get on a film. Now, this could be something where you start and you're, you put yourself out there and you network with some people and then you just say, hey, can I shoot this? So, you know, even for no money, like, let me shoot something. So then you have a reel and then you start putting that together. And so initially, maybe you take the jobs for free or very little money to start building up a reel and that's gonna be the thing that sells you. Then, once you have that where you, somebody can, you, and by the way, you can do that reel even without shooting something, a film or a short film or something like that. Just go out and shoot some amazing shots and cut a reel together, okay? And then, once you have that, that's what's gonna sell you, right? Um, and now you gotta get out and you gotta market yourself and you, know, you put up a really great website, you have a really cool looking business card, and you go to film festivals, and you go to film markets, you go to the Cannes Film Festival, the Cannes Market, you go to AFM, American Film Market, you go to the Sundance, and, any, and you have your story, really. You know, anybody you say, yeah, I'm a DP, I'm, um, I'm up and coming, just looking to do some feature work, but I have some raw talent. Here, check out my reel. You give them uh, your business card, maybe your business card, you put a QR code on there that takes people directly to the reel. But that's what's happened sometimes. People have told me, hey, I'm a DP, and I go, great, oh, you know, let me see your stuff. And then I look and I see their reel, and if, if it's great, then it'd be somebody that I would want to work with in the future. So that's how you do it. You got to put your, yourself out there. But the key is you got to put the work in. You can't just be like, I'm a DP. Yeah, like I, I know where to point the camera. You've got to put the work in and get better and better at your craft. The DPs that I know, um, I mean, the true cinematographers that are working and, and getting better and better are always working on their craft, always trying to find the new innovations, reading about stuff, um, experimenting, putting themselves out there, and getting better and better is, is the key to getting a long-term career as a cinematographer.